Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Esni again, and today I have a guest here. Hi, my name is Ethan. I'm a Master of Architecture student at the Yale School of Architecture and classmates with Ethni. Classmate and roommate, actually. Mm -hmm. And today we'll be doing a video talking about things that we didn't know about Yale University before coming to New Haven. So, Ethan, did you want to start? Yeah, sure. Um, I think the first thing that I didn't know before coming over here, but I was really actually happy to know is how collaborative mm -hmm. the student environment was. Right. I think um, because the Master of Architecture program is a three-year program, there's three years, and each year, or each year or cohort is really actually like super tight knit. Um, and so, even though there are French multi, you you can be in multiple friendship groups. I feel like at the same time, everyone gets along together, and people aren't afraid to help out each other yeah. out. Yeah, we have like around fifty-five in our year, and we have like a WhatsApp group chat. And I feel like everyone can like message. Like in this chat about our own specific problems, and people will be like happy to help out or anything, or even just ask to like go for a beach day or anything like that. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I think that's like one of the things that I really appreciated about you. Same. Yeah. What about you? What did you feel? I also didn't realize that we get to build a very close relationship with like most of our professors in class, especially in studio class because we meet with our professors like. Twice a week, and each time you get to talk to them like almost one on one. So that was something that I didn't really didn't fully expect because I felt like professors would be like busy or like hard to they would not reply your email on time, etc. But they are actually very happy to help you, even if it's not like a class related problem, even if it's just about your profession or like how you want to do in this field. Yeah, I think the professors here are in general quite approachable. Yeah. Even if you don't know them or if they've never met you, I think. Yeah. They're still willing to have a conversation with you or like talk. Exactly. Because initially I'll be like too shy or feel like awkward to reach out to a professor that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. But now I realize I shouldn't be like that at all. <laughs> like yeah. honestly just go for it if you wanna ask anything. And I think that's also partially because we've been on Zoom this past year and that mm. people the professors also a lot of professors haven't actually met us and we actually haven't met yeah. a lot of the professors. Um, so that's I think that's the mutual way. That's the reason why everyone wants to get to know each other. I think so. Yeah. And speaking from like this COVID year, another thing I didn't like fully expect from Yale was that I didn't realize the COVID testing sites were so easily accessible for Yale students. Um, I'm not too sure if it's as accessible for like the general public, but at least for as a Yale grad student, I could book a COVID test for free, basically whenever I want to, and there's plenty of slots. And the site is like right next to the architecture school. So I could always just go in, get tested for two minutes, and then go to my class. And then the result would come out like the next day. So it was super easy. Like I felt no burden to get tested once a week or something like that. Yeah, it also just made you more comfortable to be around other students, mm -hmm. I think, during the pandemic, which is really nice. Yeah, definitely. Um, and also for us as international students, we were like flying when the US was like going through the peak. Of the, of the coronavirus, I think that just helped us feel a little bit better once we came here. Definitely. Yeah. Um, Is there something that you wish you like knew so that you could prepare yourself for? <laughs> um, how would I prepare myself a little bit better? I feel like um, if I could tell myself something um, before coming here was just to like go at it and just like really just take every moment like I feel like over here everyone's so busy all the time and it's really easy to just like time flies by like so fast yeah. I just felt that like I was always working like during the semester but it was and especially this was more for the first semester where I felt like I was always working but I didn't get a chance to breathe and breathe and enjoy my time over here like I feel like it's really like yes we're over here and we're like really busy but it's really also important to just like we're here it's like you know it's time is enjoy yourself even just walking around the campus in summer is like quite beautiful i think mm -hmm. but one thing that i kind of wish i knew was that i didn't realize as a grad student we don't get 
we are not we don't get the access of like some of the residential colleges or like we just don't have the access to every single part of Yale University I guess um, that was slightly disappointing but I totally understand um, for security and COVID conscious reasons yeah you're talking about the residential colleges yes yeah. yes did you live in one I didn't, I don't know, I, I lived in a residential college in my undergrad, but not over here. And that's actually partially why I chose to live in a graduate dorm, because I thought that would be the closest thing to what Yale, Yale residential colleges were like. You know, I wanted to meet people outside of architecture and just, you know. So you lived in a graduate dorm last semester? Yeah, I lived in a, so the past year I've been living in a graduate dorm, which it was actually really fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, in, gen in general, I didn't think, I, of course, like, I didn't know what to expect, but I met some really cool people over there, it was fun. Yeah, I remember visiting your dorm, it was like, a lot of people, was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, everyone's always, um, doing, everyone's always busy and doing, uh, doing stuff, but the downside is that the space is, is, the room is small, but otherwise, if yeah. you want to meet people there, it's a great way to meet other students. Is that why you decided to move out? Partially, I think I wanted to move out because I needed more space. Like there I were times so. when I was in my room because also we're on a on the block schedule last year mm -hmm. with COVID that there were times I had to work at home, and then that just became super isolating, especially when I had to quarantine. Oh, and also another thing that I didn't realize that I before I wish I knew before coming here was that I would be in quarantine twice <laughs> <laughs> during the semester. That was not ideal at all, especially during finals, that was a killer, yeah. um, but good exp I think, you know, still, I would still do it, even if I knew I would, that would happen. I think so, Ethan was in quarantine because he was a close contact with um, mm -hmm. COVID positive students yeah. twice. <laughs> yeah, my neighbor in my, the dorm got COVID, um, and also one of my classmates at Yale got COVID, so I was put in quarantine. The first time was the worst. The first time I was, it was finals week, I remember and that was very stressful. The second time it was better, even though it was like midterms, but whatever. Yeah. So. Oh wow. What about you? Is there anything else that you wish you knew before coming here? I think now that we're flatting together, so Ethan's actually my roommate, and we live in this apartment of three bedroom, and each bedroom is like huge. <laughs> yes. Let's sell the bedroom. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I think something I didn't realize is that off-campus housing in New Haven, even if it's not like Yale-affiliated housing, um, they're very easily accessible and for good price. Um, I thought I would go through a lot of trouble finding my place outside of campus, but in fact it was very easy and there were so many resources. So that was like a bright side, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I did, I, that's another thing that I didn't realize was that everyone would be living in their own apartments and houses. I thought right. a lot of students would be living in a graduate dorm, because I came from Hong Kong and Hong Kong doesn't have, like, the, the university that I went to, they didn't have even enough dorms for international students. Right, but for us, I think you're one of the only students in our year who... Yeah. I think there were three of you guys that lived in graduate dorm. Yeah. And all three of you guys moved out after a semester. Yeah. yeah. So that's just what happened to our year, but you don't have to take it as reference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think these are just our personal opinion. Like we don't represent our whole year group or anybody else, honestly. But we just wanted to share what our experience was like coming over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're actually doing another collaboration under Ethan's channel, and I'll also put that link down below if you want to check it out. Yeah. And like, comment, subscribe. Yes. Now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching. See you guys. Done. That was not too bad.